tutorial we're going to learn how to uh, get user input from the console window. So all I've done is declared three variables here and read some text on the console window so that uh, we can ask for user input. So all this does is ask the user to enter a word. And this, this prints you entered the word and then my string value, which right here we're going to learn how to get my string value to equal console input. So the first thing we need to type is my string equals Okay, so we're assigning it to console dot read key. That's what most people would do, read key. But that's what because that's what we've been using. But all that's doing is reading the next key line key input. So we don't want to do that. We want to read the next line input. Read line, double parentheses, semi. So what that's doing is assigning my string equal to the next console dot read line. And then printing the value here. Okay, so that was the easiest one. Down here we're gonna do a whole number, which will be the integer. Uh, and down here we'll do the double. Okay, so let's do the integer. First off, all I did was enter, please enter a whole number again, and the same thing I think. Uh, what you may be asking here is, what is this r slash n? r slash n is uh, down a line in the console window, so I added two down lines. Okay, so now we go, my number equals, now most people are going to go console.read line, but see, now we're going to get an error because you can't convert a string to an int because this is an int and this will be a string. So what we do is we go convert dot to int and then parentheses around console.readline. What that does is assigns my number to console.readline and then converts it to an int. Okay, and now we can do the same thing with a double. So we can just copy that, paste it down here, change our variable name. And we don't want to convert it to an int because this is able to take a uh, double number. So we can go to double. Okay. So now you can press, and don't forget your console.read key or your program is going to close when you get down here. So we press debug. And enter a word like hello. You entered the word hello. Press, please enter a uh, whole number, 77. You entered the number 77. Please enter the decimal number, 7.7. .7. You entered the number 7.7. .7. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. And the next tutorial will cover if, if, else, while, and for loops. Um, if you want to practice user input, you can make a short story where you can change the verbs or different actions in the story to affect the outcome. Uh, but we'll cover more in the next tutorial.